Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Missa, that's my Instagram, that is my Twitter, welcome to my channel, I'm a 29 year old beauty addict from Scotland, there we go, and we're today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be putting on a full face of like my expensive makeup. I just did a full drugstore one, I'll link it up here, but today I really wanted to play with a lot of my high end stuff that I don't maybe play with as much on my channel, just because I do think the drugstore is real good and I don't like to talk too much about super expensive stuff because it's just super expensive and I'm Scottish, I love a bargain but I do like expensive makeup. So anyway, we're gonna jump into it. I moisturised about an hour ago and now I'm gonna put my primer on. I'm gonna use my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a primer and moisturiser. I've actually only used this a couple of times, I just dropped some on my knee. Um, so that's why I wanted to use it. I was going to maybe use my Becca, but I decided to use this one. This just feels real nice. It just feels like a lovely moisturiser and I love putting on moisturiser. It's probably like the only skincare thing I'd actually do <laughs> a lot. Oh, it sinks in so nice. Mm. Foundation was a super easy choice for me. This is my ABH foundation if you didn't know it is so it's dreamy however it is mortifyingly expensive i'm gonna use the shade 130 in it might be a little dark but whatever the only thing is you see every single bottle i've got like four of these the pump gets stuck at the bottom so you can't like do multiple pumps because <laughs> i've seen other people say that as well this is my ever-loved colour drain sponge, if you're wondering. Do you know what? That actually looks quite pale. <laughs> Why am I surprised at myself? I like to describe this as like a medium, a good medium coverage. So on me, I definitely prefer more coverage. But when I just like put my concealer and stuff on, it looks so beautiful and it's so dewy and lovely that I don't mind that it isn't full coverage. It's just something about when I wear it, I always feel like I'm having a better makeup day. But it's like, what, £42 or something? And I just, oh, it's actually more expensive than like Luminous Silk, which is nuts. Um, but oh, it's so worth it. Like, in my opinion, it really is worth it if you want like a foundation for like a special occasion. And I usually just add like one more pump through my T-zone. Just because you know I like the coverage. I think I have used this like a couple of times on my channel. But yeah, I don't like to talk about it far too much because it's pricey. I just think it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I think I did a full review of this on a Patreon video actually. I will say, if you like only wear full coverage, this probably isn't the foundation for you just because it is quite medium, that's why I do like two layers, but if you're willing to like go for medium full, I think it's great. I'm going to use my, uh, what's it called? What is this called? I'm looking at it. Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm going to use the shade Marshmallow. I adore this concealer, it's got beautiful, beautiful coverage and you get so much in the bottle, so although it is expensive, 25 pounds you get 15 mils so it's probably like one of the best like economically um in terms of like how much product you get and why i like it as well is it's very hydrating but at the same time it's being like really good coverage and i find a lot of like full coverage concealers can be a little bit like matte or drying this is not that. And with a nice hydrating concealer like this, I feel like it then takes the foundation to the next level, like to more kind of my level where I love the full coverage. But it's still dewy. I'm still glowing. Those two together, I like, I love them together. I also love my ABH with my dewy concealer that you know I love, but I've pretty much run out of that, so I couldn't use it. I thought I would just quickly cream contour just because I love cream contouring. I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star concealer. This is in the shade C19 and it's very nice for cream contouring. And this is actually a really um, good shade for me for cream contour as well. 
doing my jaw again. I want to go like super glam today, like mega glam. So that's what we're doing. This blends like an absolute dream. I should have done this before my other concealer, but that's all right. Why have I done this? Why? I'll just go over it with my sponge and it'll be fine without having to put on more concealer. I need to put that Jeffree Star to the front of my drawer and remember to use that more for cream contour because it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to bake using an old faves, the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. This is great. I love it. This is like my seventh pot like in my lifetime. I kind of have a plan for my eyes and I kind of have a plan for my lips and I think this is going to be like full on makeup today. I really like this powder because I find that it really smooths my pores. So I do like to kind of put it all over this area. But for the rest of my face, I'm going to use something else. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Pressed Powder. This is in Cream Puff. I got sent like 15 shades of this and not really one of them matches me perfectly. So this will have to do. It's got a little bit of coverage, set your makeup, kind of like MAC Fix Plus powder. I didn't want to use my MAC though, because I used that in a recent video. I do quite like this powder, it's quite smoothing and it sets really nice. And when I use a lot of like dewy products, I really like a properly set base. Just to me, it's going to last a lot longer. Let's wipe this away. And now that I'm like really matte looking, whereas I was super dewy before, I'm gonna try this again. This is the Bare Minerals, what's it called? Invisible Light Powder Duo. And one is like a matte one and one is more of a shimmery one. That's the one I'm gonna try and use again today. I've only used this once. Picked it up for a bargain in TK Maxx. And I'm hoping it'll kind of act like my Revolution Pro Skin Finish. And just give me a nice sheen. Yeah, I think it does. You can tell like it's a lot more finely milled than the Makeup Revolution one. I wonder if it's like ever so slightly lightened up my base, which is not really a bad thing today, but I wonder if that's what's happening. I definitely see more of a glow though, which is what I'm obviously wanting. Um, if you can get it in TK Maxx, give it a shot. And I thought just to throw it back and because I've not used it in ages, I'll use my Iconic London Prep Set Glow Mist. This is the original one. In fact, I might have one that's already open. See? Might as well use this one. I like a lot of setting spray. It's like it's kind of aggressive. It's not like the the best spray, like bottle design, but it's all right. Not as good as others, better than some, you know? But by golly, does it add a sheen. I also really like it on the, like, the chest and that. It does leave a sheen there. Better let that dry for about 30 minutes. I'm obviously gonna use my beloved Too Faced Cocoa Contour. I remember when I got this, it was super expensive and I was like, oh, I can't afford it and then I bought it. And I'm so glad I did because I really do use this a lot. I like this one for my cheeks and like forehead and then this one for my nose mixed with this one and for my jaw as well because it's really light but it still looks really great. I feel like I always itch this ear in videos. I've noticed it when I'm editing. So let's go ahead and chisel some more. Although I feel like that base of the cream contour has just, it looks great. I could get away probably with not contouring, but who would I be then? Also the smells of chocolate. You know, chocolate is not something I eat a lot of at all. I could easily never have chocolate again and just have crisps. a lot of makeup in my hair. I don't know if I really uh, blended my cream contour on my forehead that well. <laughs> it's fine. We'll be 
fine. And then yeah, I'll use that lighter one. And the drill. Ah, me schnoz. Sounds like aliens are invading outside. You know when you hear um, like those really fancy like fashion bloggers and they're like oh when you buy this bag it's an investment and like cost per wear it like is cheap or something that's what I feel like this palette is to me because I use it so much I've like it's paid for itself in a way. I took out my Hoola light to use because I knew I was wearing a slightly darker foundation I wasn't sure if it would match so I'm gonna like do Nars Laguna first and then maybe go in with Hoola light around the edges. I don't know I think Hoola light might be a bit too pale for me today actually. I love my Laguna but it's <laughs> it's dying. Don't really need to put much on my forehead at all. I'll just go in with a tiny bit of benefit hula like round the edges because it is lighter so it'll just like diffuse things I think. Oh yeah. I feel very glam, very made up, which is a good thing in my books. I am trying not to use benefit cookie. Just because that's like my go-to high-end highlight because it's the bomb. So I picked this out my drawer and I don't know if it will be too light for me. This is Ofra Star Island. I've just gone like fairly deep with my base but I think that might be okay. I don't really use Ofra highlights a lot. There's just something about them that I don't love. Which I guess is weird because everyone else seems to love them. Let's see. That is very pretty, isn't it? Okay, if I've learned anything, I need to like play with my Ofras a bit more because I've got like six of them and I never ever reach for them to the point of I've often thought about decluttering them and I just don't because they're so expensive and I paid a lot for them. I'm going to use more of this. No, no. Did this yesterday as well. I'm gonna use blush. I'm gonna use Georgia by Benefix. I've only used this once and I wasn't quite sure what I thought about it. And I'm gonna do like a red kind of eye, so I think this will go quite nice. I thought it was like a little too sheer when I first used it, but I got a lot of compliments on it, so we'll try again. just smells delightful I have to say. And I do like that it's very sheeny so it'll kind of like melt into my highlight. I actually don't know where to put blush on my face shape, you know that? I don't know if I should put it where I put it, like here, or if I should put it on the apple. I don't know. That is pretty, it is quite sheer and it is just kind of a wash and I think that's actually quite a nice thing. Um, so now I'll do more settings for you. We can move on to eyes. If you're wondering why my hair is like this, it's because it's so greasy, but in using this uh, quarantine and not leaving the house to try and train my hair not to need washed so much, so that's why. I'll wash it tonight. I do look dashing in a shower cap. Base is on, base is base. Base is looking intense, it's looking glam, it's looking too much for some people, I don't care. It looks great in my opinion. Um, glowy, dewy, healthy. Could go to the Oscars with this base, maybe, I don't know. Might not photograph well, who knows. Anyway, let's move on to eyes. I've brought you in a smidge for the eyes. We're gonna use Natasha Denona Sunrise. I bought this a long time ago and I have never used it, I've swatched it. A couple of times. That's it. And I'll put up a photo on screen. There's a look that Stacey Marie did like yesterday on Instagram and I love it and I want to kind of do something like that. I'm like deeply concerned about fallout right now. We'll, we'll dive in. We'll see. I might need to use like black from another palette. I'm going to try this one up here called Jasper. So this is kind of like a first impressions. 
and by the way my base my eyeshadow base is set i put powder on it and that is still really pigmented because i'm picking up like barely any and really tapping off the excess because i don't want fallout i could put powder down but i'm not gonna I'm like really impressed by the pigment over a set base. People say Natasha Denona is so worth the money and other people say not at all and other people say I would never spend that amount on a palette and it like goes round and round because it is like such a luxury price tag and that's why I've only got this small one because it's the cheapest that they do apart from the like minis but I think they're quite expensive for how many shadows you get. I think she actually started with her lower lash line. You know, we're on it along the bottom. I think she said actually start on her lower lash line. And I think she started with black. I'm gonna pick up Carnelian, what? This like mustard here. This one has quite a lot of kick up. I'm just gonna like start blending this out. Being quite messy because her look is like really winged out. All these colours go together so nice. I'm really, really gonna deepen this up. I'm just trying to like get my initial shape and then I'll like start being a bit more dramatic with it. I'll try a wee pinch of citrine as well. Yeah, they are quite kick up, you know. Putting that all the way up here. Let's pray this comes together. Especially because I have to go in with a black eyeshadow soon. <laughs> I'm gonna take the deepest colour, which is called Clove. I'm taking like a tiny bit and really tapping off the excess because this is where things could go wrong so far. I have to say 10 out of 10 impressed by these mattes. Kind of hoping not to love Natasha Denona because she brings out the most beautiful palettes and I just, like the £200 ones, I just couldn't, I could never buy one. And I, I just don't think I would. But these £60 ones I just think are a bit more feasible. The shade is actually stunning. It's kind of like aubergine. And then I'll use that orange again and find another brush. This is not the palette she used, by the way. She used the Carnival. These are just so intense. And like, blending into each other just so beautifully. Just gonna with that like mustard one right now. What about fallout? We've got some, not too bad. I'll just like copy that and then we'll come back and deepen it up. You have to forgive me, I'm using two palettes again, um, just because I do need a black for the look that I want to recreate. So I've grabbed my Norvina volume one because it is so expensive and I'm gonna take the black from it and maybe this deep one as well. This is gonna go inner corner and outer corner. I'm so scared right now. This needs to go all the way along the lower lash line as well. I never ever play with like oranges and reds and blacks. I don't know why. Actually, they're, they're just, they work so well together. <laughs> That's okay, I don't think I messed up too bad. And I'll blend it out with that clove shade. Let me rephrase, I'll try. I'm just kind of having fun of being messy, by the way. Like, I'm not trying to make this look perfect because I'm just kind of experimenting with the eyeshadows, the shape, the look. 
so please forgive me if it's not like perfect <laughs> when is it though no, when is it perfect um all right i'll do the same to the other eye because if i move on too much i'll forget what i'm doing so the way this look goes is i do blue on the center of my lid and the only like posh blue i've really got is my Stila, and this is in the shade freedom and i don't know if this is gonna work i think it might be like too much so maybe i could use the blue from the norvina first okay yeah i could maybe use like this shade here which is like a purpley blue just as a base just to give like something behind it i'm literally i think i'm gonna get fallout with this Here we go, just using it dry. I'm not gonna take it above my crease. Maybe I should use it wet. This is reminding me, I really need to use this Norvina palette more because I love it. Yeah, so if I do that, then I've got the blue in the center. Right, this is okay, this is okay. I might just like kind of blend that a little, just now, just with like that clove shade. Let's take a moment here just to say I am flabbergasted by how good this Natasha Denona palette is. <laughs> like flabbergasted. And then I'll use the Stila. Again, shade Freedom. I got this in the Salem Beauty ages ago. And I'll take it on a brush. I just don't know if it'll contrast too much. But actually maybe that's quite a good thing. I'll obviously like blend the edges of this as well. I'm just trying to be careful not to take it above my crease. I don't think she did, but even if she did, I'm quite liking how it's like just on the lid. I think this is kind of working, you know, and I'm getting kind of excited because I think this is like right now, currently like the favorite color combination I've done in a long time. Obviously I need to blend the edges, I'll just let it dry. I'm kind of excited because I'm like, this is kind of going well. I'm gonna blend the edges with the shade Glory just because I want to use it because it's a really pretty like raspberry colour. Just slightly because actually it looks kind of nice, like a little messy. Like that's all I want to blend that anymore. I need to really deepen up my lower lash line. I'm going to use that black. She's like got the depth like all the way around like in the inner corner and stuff. I don't know if I'm like brave enough to put like super dark shadows on my inner corner. Both of my eyes are watering which is a bit weird by the way. Just to point that out. You know what? Screw it. Let's put black on the inner corner all the way around. My inner corners are watering, so it looks great. And then we'll just, I guess, blend all of this out. Just make it like super smoky, I guess. Just using like a bunch of colors that I used. I don't think my like outer corners match on both sides, but um, we're just messing. Black liner, like water liner. Just use this Huda one since it came up first. I don't think I've actually ever used this black. Made a bit of a boob there. I'm like kind of happy with how this is going, you know. I'm just gonna throw on my brows and lashes i always use by the way everyone always asks the abh dip brow i use medium brown is it yeah medium brown and my zoeva 2317 217 i'll link it below because it's the best brush ever so i'll just throw this on quickly and then i'll come back and we'll put a lip on and i'm tempted to do a red and just be bold i might change this to a nude but i want to 
like try a red with this i know my eyes are more like orange but i want to like i just want to try a red and one of my posh ones is my i've got four different colors this is my charlotte tilbury karina's red i don't know if it's hot lips what is it i don't know but i thought i might try red and if i don't like it then i'll put on a nude maybe i'll just do both these are so pigmented and creamy i really like them I'm so messy applying bullet lipstick so Ugh, I need a lip brush. That is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and I do like it. I don't think it's right. I just asked my patrons like what lip colours to do and a lot of them were saying nude but then someone said um I'll find out who it was, that's more maybe more polite, isn't it? Rachel said a deep burn orange and I've got this lime crime one in the shade pumpkin and I think it might like really match the eye so I'm just gonna be lazy and like put it over the top of this because can't be bothered taking it off and I think this could work really well I like this color I'm really messy at putting on lipstick by the way I think that's kind of cool because it definitely matches the eyes better. I think we're done. We are done. And I have to say, I mean, I know it's a lot, but I feel like this is probably the favourite eye look I've ever done. No, I don't know. It's like, I like it a lot. I'm still not sure about like the really dark colour in my inner corner, but apart from that, I'm like, I don't know, I just feel good, you know? I am actually floored by the Natasha Denona quality. I am so happy I finally played with it. I was actually gonna sell that palette because I was like, man, I'm not gonna use it. I'm so happy with it. The only thing is I haven't tested the metallics in it, but we can do that on another day. And yeah, overall, very happy with my makeup. Again, it's a lot, I know, but that's my kind of style. I mean, I would happily go out to Tesco right now looking like this, to be quite honest. Please let me know what you think of this look. Do you think you could do this with drugstore makeup should I try and do this with drugstore makeup like maybe the eyes or something um I love high-end makeup there's a lot of things that I could never get rid of in my collection even though I could probably live I could easily live on drugstore makeup for the rest of my life but there's so many things especially all the things I talked about today that I couldn't live without I mean there's a couple like the blush and the Ofra but apart from that like you know everything else is like loves of mine so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would help me out a lot if you would give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, tell me what I should film next and uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be super nice. Thank you all so, so much for watching this. It really means a lot to me that you're watching my videos when I sit and film them. And a special thank you as well to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support on Patreon and on here um, and for helping me out with what lipstick to wear today. We've got a WhatsApp, a Discord and a Facebook group and I do lives all the time so if you want to join the link is down below. But if you can't or don't want to, don't worry about it. Watching my videos is the biggest support I could ever ask for and on that note I'm going to piss off and I need to film another video because I cannot let this makeup go to waste. I'll just change my lip and my earrings. Okay, I will hopefully catch you all on the flip side. Bye!